The New Supervisor Checklist, a guide for new supervisors. Becoming a new supervisor can open up a wide range of opportunities for you. However, it can also mean that you need to adjust to your new role. There are many more responsibilities on your shoulders than ever before, and you're responsible for the entire team. To perform to the best of your capabilities and to make your team reach new heights, here is a new supervisor checklist. Follow these tips and watch your team flourish. Be confident and charismatic. Standing out is important when you're in a team position. When you're the supervisor, it's even more important. There is nothing that inspires respect more and loyalty than a charismatic, confident leader. Learn to be assertive and don't question your decisions in public. Learn to delegate tasks. Motivate your team to perform to the best of their abilities and learn to incorporate their suggestions and come to the best solutions. Create a respectful and professional atmosphere. Many new supervisors feel that the new position means that they have nothing else to learn from their team. Instead of distancing yourself from your team, connect more with them than ever before. This is one of the best new supervisor tips out there, as it has you recognize your strengths and weaknesses, as well as your teams. Own up to your mistakes and apologize and motivate others at the same time. Know that you set the tone for the entire team's attitude and if you are humble and respectful, others will be too. The next tip, be on top of your game. This is one of the essential tips on the checklist. Don't wait for the team to come to you with progress reports. Go and ask them yourself. Learn the skills of all your members so that you can capitalize upon them and learn their weaknesses so learn their weaknesses so they can be fixed. Be constantly updated with every detail in the office. This ensures better cohesion and communication, but it pressures your team to be on top of their game as well. By just staying updated, you can prevent slacking across the board. Don't spread yourself too thin. Some supervisors may end up doing way too much instead of working from a leadership position. This can never have a good result because it means that you end up missing deadlines and overworking yourself. It can also lead to employees taking advantage of you. Make sure you know when to delegate responsibilities to others instead of spreading yourself too thin. And the last tip on the checklist, don't try too hard to be well liked. Now this doesn't mean you shouldn't care what people think about you, but rather the opposite. When supervisors try too hard to be well liked, they could end up sacrificing on some of their rules or not being assertive enough. Be positively assertive and know that your employees will automatically like you in return. Well, if you like that checklist, Subscribe to the channel because I come out with videos on helping new supervisors. Instead of distancing, instead of di learn to be. Many new.